Oh, hey, welcome in. How can I help you? Oh, I recognize you. You were one of my regulars. It has been a while. How are you? Yeah, well, the last time we talked, I believe we were on the brink of shutting down and I probably would have never seen you again, but the stock market... So, everything's going great. They let me decorate however I wanted and uh, yeah, just continuing to sell gear and digital video games mostly, yeah. Mm, well, it's pretty hard to sell the physical copies unless people are sticklers for wanting like the thing in their hands, but pretty much nobody left their house in the last year or so, which is a good thing. Um, I'm just going to assume for the sake of this is that everything's fine, you know? Because it wouldn't really- okay. I can't really film. I mean, you know. Okay. Um, so yeah. Do you want some G Fuel? Totally, totally, totally. Oh, I am having a great time while we have our ice here in the shaker and we could do a spicy demonade. Or, I have the canned stuff in stock now, too. Well, I just assume that you're a gamer. Can it is. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, we are thriving here. Absolutely thriving at the game store. That little smell, that is the sour chug rug, my friend. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, please, please, make yourself at home, like I said. We are doing quite well. So, if I remember correctly, you started streaming last time you came in. You were getting some gear. How's that going? Yeah. Basically, I think everybody, you know, since they were home, just absolute explosion of digital creators, internet, streamers, video, anything, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, I keep telling my manager that we should start our own TikTok, but she's like, no. Um, but I feel like there's also a bunch of audience members as well, like, creators, ton of new creators, but also a ton of new audience members, so hopefully your stream is going great. Cool, do you need any upgrades or anything? I know you started off with some pretty basic stuff. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I can definitely set you up with a good set of headphones, uh, mechanical keyboard, do you have one of those? Definitely mechanical keyboard. Yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be really cool. Um, and we can talk games and stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. I personally spent the majority of 2020 playing uh, Os and The Sims 4. But you know, I got you. I got you. I got you. I, I played some other games and I can recommend those to you. I'm constantly, you know, making sure I keep up with my my gamer friends so I know what's what's hip and what's cool to recommend to my customers. Yeah, I feel like they're gonna fire me with the lack of games I have played. I just wanted to like regress back into my comfort, my comfort games this year, you know? But there were some good new ones, there were some really good new ones. Okay, so, oh, what's that? You're looking for the PlayStation 5? <laughs> Oh, you're being serious. Oh, I can put you on the wait list. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, just write your name down and, uh, oh, 
wrong book. What's your name again? Okay, cool. Well, if we get to your name on the name list, I will be sure to give you a call. I guess I should probably get your phone number too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had some people bribe me. Yeah, they tried to bribe me to get them, like, higher on the wait list. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, let's talk games. What are you looking for? Ones to play on your stream or ones to play in, like, your free time? Yeah, well, we'll stick to PC games first, then. Some good ones for uh, viewership. How about some party games? Well, um, everyone and their mother was playing Among Us. I'm sure you didn't miss that, myself included. I did spend a lot of time on Among Us. It's a great party game. Honestly, it's the perfect icebreaker for getting to know people, acquaintances, friends of friends. Like, there's nothing better than just getting thrown into a lobby and um, you just get to start the game and you get to know each other really fast, so. It's obviously best if you use a voice chat, so like just download Discord. I'm sure you have Discord. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just had to make sure. Um, but uh, playing in the public lobbies? Don't, don't play in the public lobbies. Would not recommend that. Don't play in those. Um, but, like I said, it's only five bucks, okay? You get it on Steam. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, if you purchase through our shop, we get like a little commission code. That's how we're making some profits on the digital content here. I believe they actually just came out with a new map as well. Yeah, see, that should bring some new life into the game. Yeah, there was a ton, ton, ton of content. Um, I think it reached its height of popularity probably a while ago, but still a good game. Definitely. Um, and if we're talking party games, you know what launched recently? Jackbox. Um, the Jackbox Party Pack 7. That's live. Yes, it is so good. The mini games are chef's kiss. I think it's my favorite pack so far. Mm -hmm. um, well, do you remember Quiplash? They came out with Quiplash 3. It's really cool. The graphics and everything is beautiful. Um, and that's a really good one to play with your viewers or maybe with some other stream friends, just like for some laughs. Yeah, I think Quiplash, you probably want to make sure. You have people you trust in there, it can get kind of raunchy, depending on who you're playing with. But what I really liked, um, was Blather Rounds. Yeah, yeah, that is one of the mini games, and... Basically what you do is you have, uh, you pick a prompt and then like a couple that you can pick from and you have to try to get everyone else who's playing to guess what your prompt is by using words that they give you. So it's like, you can't use any of your own original words, you have to like pick words to describe it and they're just like throwing out guesses and you have to try to like lead them to the right answer. So like if I was trying to get them to guess like, um story, Lord of the Rings, and somebody guessed Harry Potter, you'd be like, it's kind of similar to Harry Potter, and some people might be like, I hate you, never say that again, but you know, like you're trying to just get the big guess, it's not really that deep, something like that, um, yeah, yeah, it's hilarious, you can get it on PlayStation, Xbox, um, you can even buy it on your phone as an app, but uh, if you own it on your PC, 
anyone can play like on any platform like their phone their computer whatever they just go to jackbox tv and then just put in the room code mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so that's a good one jackbox yeah jackbox party pack seven cool 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 um well next on my list i'm not really sure if this this would really count as a party game it's like opposite end of the spectrum here um it is much more fun to play with other people so i'm gonna say it's a party game phasmophobia yeah that one was super popular a little while ago too it's a ghost hunting game it's like it's horror it's like scary so you're basically like you are like first person ghost hunting in like old houses um schools hospitals etc and you have like different tools and you go in with your teammates and if you play this by yourself you need help okay but you go in and you try to like find the ghost like what room the ghost is haunting and you have to figure out what type of ghost it is there's like a whole bunch of different types and different ghosts react to different things so it's like it's pretty cool well it can be a little bit slow in the beginning when you're trying to locate the ghost but it really makes for some hilarious content oh yeah mm -hmm. okay and when you're playing with your friends it's not too too scary maybe another really popular one to play with friends is valorant uh very competitive though i kind of swore off that kind of thing after my fortnite phase um but i'm sure you'd enjoy it it's free too so i probably shouldn't really be promoting free games since it's my job to sell you things but uh you asked so here we are well if i'm looking to sell you stuff oh baby okay okay well if you want to spend some serious biddies, <laughs> um, may I interest you in a VR set? I see that you are intrigued. They are very, very cool. So this one is our most affordable. Um, well, we don't have the we don't have the oculus the first oculus is the oculus 2. let me tell you about some of the games um what i really like though about the oculus is that it um is portable so you don't need to connect it to a pc the downside is it's pretty finicky slash a little bit difficult to set up to stream with it's possible 100 percent possible just a little bit more annoying than something like the valve index but this is four hundred dollars big chunk of change valve index a thousand dollars valve index definitely you know you can run more better etc things like uh but just things like getting custom songs on beat saber is gonna be still possible but just a lot harder on this guy as far as i know anyway there's gonna there's gonna be a lot of people who know a ton about vr which is nice um you can always scour the internet for those friendly people who can help you i personally don't play too much of it of course i was the person who got a puppy this year and puppy and waving your arms around without seeing where you're really going they don't mix so <laughs> i haven't really had a chance to play too much vr but it is pretty awesome do you not know what beat saber is oh oh my god okay so once again vr i think is really just starting out in my humble opinion the content isn't there yet but i think 
I would think this is the most popular game really on there right now. Um, maybe not in literal terms of numbers, but like Beat Saber, I think is worth purchasing in Oculus Quest 4. Mm -hmm. So it's a rhythm game and you have your controllers here. So one in each hand. This would actually go in your right hand, this in your left. And what you do is you are hitting you're in a virtual room. It's like you're transported to a futuristic world. It's actually kind of crazy. And your two hands are holding lightsabers. I don't know if they can really say that. Um, but then there's super loud music and to the beat, these boxes just come flying at you and you have to hit the boxes at the right time in the correct direction with your lightsabers. And it's like to the beat, it's a rhythm game. And you're squatting and you're moving and you're grooving and it is a workout. Let me tell you, this, this is a workout, it's pretty great. <laughs> your arms will be sore, your legs will be sore, you will be sweating, speaking of which, would highly recommend that you um, buy extra face caskets. See, these just pop out really easy, like so. So this is what sits on your sweaty little face. Uh, so if you plan to bring it to a friend's house or have people over a lot, you can get extra ones of these. That way you can have your own face casket. You can get one for your friends to use and you can a sterilize them later. So that's nice because like you know buddy, you go to like put the VR set on and like all of a sudden you have your cousin's boyfriend's sweat dripping down your face. It's disgusting. Am I interesting you in the Oculus? Yeah? Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Um like I said, if you check it out, you really like it, check out some different games. There's a ton, like you can play things like Phasmophobia in VR. You have to check what games are available for what headset, but if you're super into it, you're loving it, that's probably one I would say to check out. Um, something like the Valve Index and give yourself an upgrade. I think this is the perfect starter. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Okay. But if you do, you know, have thousands of dollars in expendable cash, I can also recommend you Genshin Impact. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm more of a Raid Shadow Legends person myself, to be quite honest with you. The Genshin Impact players, they are on a different level. Oh, you know, they say, I'm just playing in moderation. Mm -hmm. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. Oh, back to selling you games. Um, let's see. How are you enjoying your Switch? I think I sold you one last time. Did you pick up Animal Crossing? The New Horizons? Mm-hmm. That was all over my social media. What was it, this summer? Mm-hmm. I think it launched at the perfect time, um, but I still never played Animal Crossing. Mm -mm. I grew up on Harvest Moon, mm -hmm. and I was thrilled, by the way, because they released Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. I know. So, I had a great time. That was also available not only on the Switch, but on the PC, which I did not learn until I was like knee deep in like summer year two, whatever. It's great on the Switch. I think there's nothing more nostalgic and beautiful than playing Harvest Moon on a little handheld device. Truly a core memory for me. Yeah. You ever play Harvest Moon? Who do you marry? Oh, well, you know, free will is a thing, so that's cool. If you want any other single-player games, should we go down that route? 
I'm down. Let's chat. Let's talk about it. I have a few I could recommend you. Okay. You can Google the top games of 2020, figure out what you want to play yourself, Call of Duty, whatever. I have been playing through Amori. It is amazing. I can't tell if it's just like very popular in my social bubble of people, but I feel like more people should know about this. It's a, it's stunning. It's an indie role-playing game. Um, so there's like, it's mostly like pixel art, like think like Pokemon or um, maybe uh, Undertale. But there is a ton of art. So the creator is an artist, Omocat. Um, and like the pop-ups of like the different characters and the images and the artistry in the game, it's not all pixel art, is just beautiful. The music is amazing. The story is emotional because you are laughing, you're crying, you are scared. Yes, it is slightly horror at times. Um, so definitely check those, uh, those warnings before you play. It's a very unassuming game. You think it's going to be like all cute and bubbly because it takes, it starts to take place in a dream world. But then you realize, not big spoilers here, you are partly playing in a dream world and the real world and you're following your little protagonist boy and his group of just the cutest friends you will ever- I am a sucker for like the power of friendship tropes in games and things like that. Kingdom Hearts oh, really gets me right in the filios. So I would definitely recommend that one. Again, support these independent creators. They're unreal. I believe the game is $20, which you will see. I think most people are taking about 30 hours to finish the game. It is chock full. This is a labor of love, this game. For sure, for sure, for sure. The fighting mechanisms are really fun as well. Yeah, I think you'd really like it. Um, okay, let's go through the other single player games. A ton of my friends played Cyberpunk this year. That was the peak of my dog training time. So sitting at the computer, not really an option for me. Hades, really awesome. Last of Us Part 2 came out. I know I recommended Part 1 to you. Did you love it? Yep, so there's a sequel now. I still have not had time to play it. I believe that is console only. Let me double check that for you. Can you play Last of Us? on PC. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, cool. It's just on the PS4. You could probably play it on since you don't have your PS5. Um, I have not touched any of my consoles. I guess if you count the Switch, I have, but it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, did you hear? Absolutely groundbreaking. Breaking gaming gamer news. The Sims 4 released bunk beds. Bunk beds. I know. Incredible. It's what we've all been waiting for. Finally, game of the year. Sims 4 bunk beds. Free update. <sighs> Peak achievement of 2021 so far. Okay, all right. I feel like I've talked your ear off about some games. You can always do a lot of digital shopping around, um, things like that. So I'm sure you're here for uh, more physical items. Like you said, you wanted headphones and a keyboard. Okay, let me see what I can do for you. I have a lot of options, so it's basically just going to be a matter of what you like in terms of style, comfort, functionality. Yeah, okay. So for the keyboards, I think we can start with that. You just want, is there anything um, specific? Are you, this is your first mechanical keyboard? Okay. 
Okay, well, we won't go crazy then. You can get really deep into the mechanical keyboard world. Oh yeah, that sub community is popping. So I'm in between two for you. Okay, this first one. Now these are both by Drop. Amazing quality. Very aesthetically pleasing. This is their signature series keyboard. And this is their Space Race one. It's pretty heavy, so let me get it out for you. Okay, so it looks super compact. Um, this is a 67 key keyboard. It's there. Alt size. I believe these have the holy panda switches, if I'm not mistaken. This is my job, but I am often mistaken. And when you plug this in, the entire back lights up. It's programmable. Um, or you can at least customize it. There's like different ways you can have the lights going. Whatever you like to see. These keys are gorgeous. Um, it's an aluminum frame. If somebody were to, you know, piss you off, this uh, is a weapon, to be honest. Nice and tactile gonna be way better than what are you using? Just like the keyboard out of the box, you know? Mm -mm. Upgrade. Your fingers will be so happy. Check it out. I really like this one. Um, but I'll show you there. So this is the alt size. I want to show you the control size. This is the one that I have personally, so definitely a big recommend. If I were to get or use a an alt size keyboard, I would definitely use this one. So, but I like the slightly bigger one. Again, drop.com. Here we go. Now, the backing for this one, it can come in either black or gray. This is the black one. Let's go ahead and get this out of the box for you. So this looks identical to the one I have. The one I'm using right now has uh, silver speed switches, I believe. And this one has Let's take a look under the hood here. This is the Cherry MX Brown. They're pretty great. You'll definitely notice a difference. I think it sounds better. Yeah. yeah. The sound is pretty top tier, if I do say so myself. It is hard to say no to this one. Once again, once you plug this in and the whole back lights up. Oh my gosh. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's a hard choice for sure. But I think you should go with this one. side and we can go over headphones well I will start with the ones that I have and tell you about them now I did replace the cable that came with it um, because I kept 
destroying them, but that's fine. Now this is the HD 6XX. It's an open back over the ear headphone and this is actually a collaboration with Sennheiser. I'm obsessed with these, okay? Super comfortable, they're quite large. Um, but these are, I think, one of their best-selling headphones of all time. Mm -hmm. They really do sound amazing. Even with the open back, I don't find that there's like a ton of audio leak. You can see they're pretty large. But in terms of wearing headphones for long periods of time, just the way this is structured for some reason. It's, I keep going back to them like every time um, my dog destroys a pair, I get another <laughs> sort of thing. Um, I believe this is my third pair, which is really sad, but um, I had to install baby gate locks on my door. And then the door broke, so she could push open the door anyway. And she goes after them. I keep an hawk's eye on her, but just like the 60 seconds, you don't look and see what she's doing. They're dead. Okay. The headphones, not the dog. Okay. Anyway, next we have the panda headphones, and I just want to pull up details of them because, you know, I'm just a game shop employee, not a specialist of any kind. Now these are wireless, which is nice. The HD6XX are not wireless, to my knowledge. Um, so I don't know if you like wireless, Bluetooth, whatever you need to use. These are of superb quality. They look really sleek. And they're so comfortable. So here are the headphones. It does come with a cord if you need it to be wired. And as you can see, they are uh, much wider, like thicker, than the HD6XX but smaller overall. So these have a much more enclosed feel. Extremely soundproof. Like, I can barely hear myself right now when I'm not even playing any music. And it is hard to find sometimes, you know, like with the sort of sound cancelling, like the noise cancelling headphones and wireless headphones, sometimes the quality isn't the greatest. Oh yeah, these cushions are like pillows, pretty ears. So pretty, it's hard because pretty different and yet it really is just a matter of your opinion, how you think you would use them. Unfortunately, I have some more options for you. Yeah, it's about to get harder to choose. Now, of course, the issue with the pandas, you know, they sound great, they sound amazing. You're like, yay, amazing sound quality. They have the wireless option, but you can use some wired. Why wouldn't you pick those? Totally depends what your budget is. So the pandas are coming in at 400 whereas the HD6XX are just about half of that at 220 Now, for a, our most affordable option, we have the PC38X. Now, this is a gaming headset. I know I said last time, you don't need the headset, just get a good mic. Um, the headphones themselves are still really good, and then you do have the option, um, especially good as a backup or when you don't want to have the mic set up 
or maybe you're streaming from a different place and you don't want to bring your entire mic set up, it's not a terrible backup to have. It's like I would personally take these with me if I were traveling rather than trying to lug, God forbid, a boom arm of any sort or a mixer of any sort. Whew. Now these come wired. I can take the wires out if you want to see it. Um, first thing you'll notice is the design is really cool. Very sporty. It's got like a mesh cover here and like nice yellow accents, which looks really cool. A little bit different than just a straight up, you know, black on black on black. So this is also a collaboration with Sennheiser. I believe it was like their gaming division helped with this. And once again, very affordable, sort of two in one. Super comfortable, really good for, um, like very long gaming sessions. Adjustable to the ears. It's less cloud-like, like mm, I would say the pandas. Once again, very soft, cloud, fluffy. If you like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, whereas these have more of like a supported, structured feeling in a good way, I think. Totally depends. You might need to try some of these on. But cool, right? Hmm. Definitely. So once again, it's gonna come down to not only preference, but budget and your requirements for your stream. But no matter what, I can throw in a headset hanger, just for you, my favorite customer. Oh yeah, oh, stop it, no problem. So this looks really cool. Modern industrial, you have this part right here, which is like sort of like a vice grip. You put it in your, on your desk or wherever you're streaming from, make it nice and tight, and then you're able to hang your headphones or your headset right there. Super neat, very clean, and not obstructive at all. Yeah, so just let me know what headphones you like the best. Yep, that headset, I think I said 169, 220 for the HD6XX, and 399 for the pandas. The panda, 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 pandas. And then you got your mechanical keyboard, you got a bunch of new game recommendations. You, the G Fuel is flowing through your bloodstream. I'm sure you're just ready to get out of here and start gaming all night. I know I am. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, you're gonna do the VR set? Oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. That is awesome, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. I will be sure to give you a call though if the PS5 comes in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a few people ahead of you. All right, well, I will ring all that up for you. Let's see, and your account with us is still active, so that's great. You have a bunch of points, and that will get you 70 cents off. Congratulations. Okay, and you're gonna pay cash or card or PayPal or Venmo or whatever. Cash app. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right. Let's get all this wrapped up for you so you can get get to gaming. The important part. And I have to check on my my clan on raid. It's been a while. Okay. Got 
gotta set a good example for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been offline for like two hours. Whew. Not professional of me. Okay. Well, let's get it wrapped up. Thank you so much for coming in. It's always a pleasure. Great to see you. Sweet. Yeah, good luck with your gaming adventures. Let me know if you run across any good games you think uh, I should be recommending to others. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, follow me on Twitter. It is not a cesspool at all. Cool. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. And I will get everything ready for you.